Hey guys, on your soy sauce assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And you know, a little change. You might see the tone and color is kind of weird. This is actually how the color should look like because I did a little bit of color correction. And one of those things about color correction is that every time I show the band and I want to look at the, the video, the color is off by that much. So it's like, you know, I want to do a little bit of color correction and now I have done a little bit of color correction so the color should be a little bit better. Now today we are doing a cigar from Working Man Cigar, uh, Roger. He uh, sent me uh, this Alec Bradley Cigar Company Fine and Rare 2021. Here we go. All right, 2021. The blend is BC134 EV. When you buy this cigar in a box, there is also another additional cigar in there. That's called BC134 EVB, and which is like not disclose anything. Uh, so, but like I think uh, you know, big thanks to Roger because he heard me saying about the uh, the fine and rare, and uh, I, I I you know really fine and rare was not on my radar until I saw the the 2023 fine and rare box press. And um, I don't know if there's any blend difference, but I wanted to try that. But you know, for him to go out of his way and find me one of these, big thanks uh, so that I get to try it now. Um, for the wrapper information, is from Trodes, 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 Honduras, and. Um, also, they have a rare binder and filler leaf from Honduras and Nicaragua. That's all I got. All right. This is a 7x50 Churchill, which is going to kill me. Right now, it's 8 p.m. I'm, I'm doing this at the weirdest time ever. It's the, the time of recording of this video is December. Outside is 60 degrees. Raining. How weird is that? You see what I'm saying? It was so weird of a temperature. I didn't go out and get my hair cut today. I supposed to go out and get my hair cut, but no, nope, came back with a coffee instead. That's how it is. All right, so let's go. Uh. I would say it's just cedary smell. <laughs> just cedar smell. I'm trying to find out what those EV and stuff means, but <laughs> I don't think there's anything other than that information. Nope, nothing. But nevertheless, doesn't bother me from smoking it. I'm just gonna smoke it. Okay, cutter, lighter. You know what? I want to cut differently today. I want to... Because this cap has this like line dot on it. You see that? I want to do a V cut. That's just on the line dot. See what happens. I haven't do a V cut for a while. The draw is horrible. The draw is absolutely horrible. There is definitely a big stem here. Or vein, you want to call it. It's a huge one. You can see it's a different color. See that? Different color. Uh, you know what? 
I was gonna do a V cut and you know enjoy it, but now I look like it's gonna be a straight cut. So that I have more surface area. And maybe eventually pick that one out. That one is a big one. Holy shit. Yeah. This is gonna be. It's gonna be a problem. The draw is horrible. The draw is like. I can probably pull a tree this long. But. Don't know until we start smoking it. The draw just tastes like a, like a cocoa cedar almost. But I can barely have any draw, so that could be. And a little bit of pepper too. Alright. First of all, this is on cedar. So put that out of the way. There's a little bit of baking spice. Yeah, baking spice. There's a little bit of like something close to a graham cracker or pie crust. Like a, there's also this woodsy tone, almost like grain. It's also a little bit of um, maybe licorice sweetness, some sort of sweetness, close to a licorice for now. So we'll see how that works. I'm gonna, if I'm gonna poke a hole on this thing, I'll, I'll do it off camera so it doesn't crunch you. But right now the draw is really bad. So smoke one third, be right back. Okay, we are back. Continue with this cigar review. Now, if I was to grade solely on the draw, it will be a zero. The, the draw is so bad. I had to poke a few holes um, to get some draw. But once you poke a few holes and get some draw, the cigar is quite interesting. I still have a problem getting a draw, but let's talk about the flavor. The flavor is baking spice. First there, okay? Baking spice and also cedar and this fruity, fruity, fruity flavor. It's a cross between raisin and maybe stone fruit or maybe fruit punch almost. But it's you know, on the sweeter side. It's like uh, it's on the very sweet side. Yeah, it's sweet. It's sweet. So the first third is very enjoyable flavor if you can get any draw out of it. If you can get any draw out of it. So I'm gonna continue work on this. I think that I'm I'm very close to getting one of these uh, stem out without breaking it. So once that happens. Maybe I'll enjoy it a lot more, but flavor, great. Draw, horrible. That's the first there. You right back. All right. I feel like I have to kind of jump in right now before the full second third. <sighs> because this cigar, like the draw is. Barely, barely can smoke. And you can see, like, I'm trying to massage it and stuff like that. And now it starts to not like it because it's definitely overfilled. This thing is so overfilled that even if I poke it, it's going to crack. 
So, the draw is horrible. But, right now I get sweet cedar, I get raisin, I get some spice, and smooth when, it, when you can take a puff. It almost have a little bit of floral too. And it's enjoyable when when I can take a puff. All right, the price is twenty three sixty four um, per stick, according to some review. I couldn't find the actual prices really quickly, so I'm gonna I, um, supposedly this is twenty four dollars a cigar. Now, if the draw is good, I can see it's twenty four right now, but the draw is horrible. It's a Churchill. It takes forever to smoke. So, uh, yeah, it will have some deduction afterwards. But while that's still burning, try to get to a point where it's smokable. Now, don't tell me it's too cold or whatever. Right now, it's 60 degrees. My basement is 70 right now. Uh, ish. At 65 relative humidity. So that thing definitely normal humidity, normal temperature. The band. That's the band. I think it's pretty cool. I just... Um, only downside for this is that when you take the cigar, there's the right side and there's the wrong side kind of thing. Because, like, you know, you're doing it sideways. So whenever I put it on, either, it's either on the wrong side or the right side. I do like the design of this. I do like the, you know, bling bling. I do like that. See, like, I'm just holding the back one again. I do like the bling bling. Okay, I do like that they write all this thing and pretend a signature and all that stuff. Fine. 2021? Fine. Uh, give me a serial number that nobody can freaking understand what it is. BC 134EV? Fine. I'll give you all that gimmick. Fine. Alright? Uh, but... When you rip it apart... <laughs> it's not cool. So... Nah, not too bad of a band. I'll give it to that. That I mean, that does catch me a little bit. It feels like a, like a test subject, you know, for a science guy like me. I like it. So, with that being said, I'm gonna smoke all the way down to the end. Given that it doesn't explode on me, if it explodes, we'll see where it ends, and we'll give you something right there. Be right back. All right. So this is the end. Now, towards the end, because I already poked so many holes on it, the draw got better. But turns out the flavor is lighter on the last third. I don't know. It's just basically the last third is the lighter version of second third. But the last third has a little bit of, I don't know, dampness or, or something like that. It's nothing too crazy, I guess. Um, uh, to me, I feel like it's a little bit of hassle to smoke the cigar. <laughs> smoke the cigar. Um, because um, the draw was bad. You know, it takes a long time to smoke a Churchill when the draw is bad. And that ruins uh, the experience for sure. Now, so, if I was to rate it, how much would I rate this cigar? Now, the flavor is okay. Draw is horrible. Band's okay. I think the whole box itself, you really had to buy the whole box because you're missing the 11th cigar, which they put in a separate coffin. So, if by the, the entire box... I'm looking at $22 for the entire, like, you know, if you buy it as part of that entire box. Without the box, the cigar itself, I'm thinking at best 18 bucks for me. 18 bucks is what I will be okay with. Uh, and even that, it's like pick and choose because the Alec Bradley cigar tend to have either good draw, really good draw, or really bad draw. So I just happen to get the really bad draw. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. That is what it is, and you know, uh, it is pretty cool. I, I think it's pretty cool. And uh, again, thanks, Roger, um, for sending me the cigar to review. It is very cool, and, um, and I, I think I will still consider uh, consider to continue search for that 2023 box price because I really think box price is just gonna have the, a better draw, and maybe it'll give me a better experience at the same time. So, make sure to check out. Walking Man Cigar Rogers channel. I will put the uh, tag in the description. And uh, anything other than that, I think that will be the review. I don't know if I missed any information, but yeah, the cigar is.
It could be better. If that makes sense. It could be better. It could happen a lot better if the smoking experience was better. So, yeah. That's it for the review. I hope you like it. If you like, like, subscribe. Still join me in the path to get to 1,000 subscribers. And I will see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.